Uh, I want to take a little time here to run through creating a page, adding a plugin to it, and then getting the page into my menu. Um, and uh, just to start out with, if you see right here that WordPress update is available, part of security, which you'll be working on next week, uh, is to keep it updated. So you could, you could go ahead and hit that update. I'm not going to do it because it takes a while. If you run into problems due to security, which I, most problems I see in updating are due to that, I have a Watts FAQ page called WordPress Additional Permissions, which walks you through adding some additional permissions to your WordPress site that will enable it to um, do the update. Uh, anyway, uh, so going back to my dashboard, so yeah, I'm here on the dashboard and my goal is to, I want to create a location page that will have a map on it. So I'm going to use a map plugin and um, create the page and then get it into my, um, my, pa my page. So you can see right now I have this photo blog and it's a blog and it has three menu items, favorite places about knowledge base. So I'm going to add a location page to this. All right. Um, let's take a look then at how we do that. So first of all, um, I have already added a Maps plugin, and the way I found that it's a Google Maps plugin is I went to this plugins, I clicked on Add New, and then I did a search for Maps. And so whatever your interest is, whatever you want to get going on your plugin, um, this is a way to find plugins really easily. And this is free. So then I just clicked on Google Maps and I installed it. Um, in order to use it, I needed to get an API key, but again, I, I, it will walk you through that. And so once you get that key, then you'll be able to start adding map locations. And, and it will install this maps on your dashboard. So if I go to maps and then settings, um, I, well, wait, let's see, maps, and then just clicking on maps. Here's my here's the maps I've created, and I created this my first map here, and it happens to be I just took the default 100 by 400 pixels, uh, and I went in and I entered um, a lo just a single location. I entered Edmonds, Washington, and you can see it put a marker on the map. So that's that's my location. Now I encourage you if you have time to play around with some of the options that your plugins offer you because it's a good way just to see what, what a plugin will do for you. They all have their own GUI um, and their own instructions. But in this case, once you have a map and you, you know, maybe created a location on it, you save it, and then you, with their instruction, is just make a copy of this little, uh, this little short code they call it, and you'll just copy that right onto the page that you want it to to show up on. So once I've got that, the code, now I'm going to go and make a page. So if I go to pages, you can see those are the three pages I've created. They're in my menu. Now I'm going to add a new page, and I'm going to call it location. I can put whatever I want on here. So there could be many things on here, but I'll just say this is where you can find me. And it, you know, this could be per your design um, specs. And then I'm going to paste this map. Okay, so then I will, um, I can preview this. So if I click preview, it opens up and you can see it shows the map and that one location that I put on it. So that looks good. So now I'm going to come over and publish this page. And then once that page is published, it will be accessible via this permalink, uh, which is editable, but you know, I'm going to leave this at location. So if I open this link in a new tab, now I have an actual permanent link to this page. The next thing I want to do is get it into my menu. Um, so you don't have to put every page you create in your menu. You know, they can link to it in other ways, whatever your 
uh, information architecture calls for. But let's just say that I want to get it into the menu. So then what I'm going to do is go to, let's see, Appearance, and then Menus. And you can see that the, it knows about the pages I have. And I've already got these three in my menu. So now I'm just going to add location to the menu. OK, and then I'll save the menu. And then once that's saved and I come over and refresh, you can see I've got location in there. I happen to be on it. And it's got my page with my plugin. So I hope that that helps you to see how you can get a plugin onto a page and then the page on into a menu uh, for WordPress. All right.